Danfoss presents the ET-1000 Crimp Machine. Our most portable positive stop style crimp machine can be mounted to surface vehicles for easy transport between job sites. The ET-1000 is approved to crimp Danfoss's 1A and Z series fittings and applicable hoses in sizes dash 4 through dash 16 as well as Danfoss's 4S fittings and applicable hoses in sizes dash 6 through dash 16. The ET-1000 also has the capability to assemble a wide variety of hose types including thermoplastic, PTFE, 100R5, air brake, air conditioning, and industrial. The ET-1000 offers four available pump options, air over hydraulic, 110 volt AC, 12 volt DC, or a hand pump. A favorite option of the ET-1000 is the easy grip handle designed to ensure simple and safe portability on the job site. For added functionality, Anfis's optional portability kit includes the easy grip handle kit, a longer hose assembly, plus Danfoss's FF series quick disconnect coupling designed for optimal reach and convenient assembly. Perfect for tight spaces and remote locations. So, let's take a closer look at the ET-1000. Before operation of the machine, it is important to review all safety protocols and follow all safety, setup, and assembly instructions outlined in the ET-1000 Operator's Manual. Always wear safety glasses and ensure your hands are at an adequate safety distance from the crimp tooling. Stay clear of all moving parts at all times. Before use, the machine must be assembled to the bench mount base with the supplied hardware and secured to a stable work surface. Note that there is an optional truck mount bracket also available. Once the crimp machine is secured to a stable work surface, place the power unit beside the press. It's important that you follow the operator's manual through the entire setup procedure. Today, we're going to show you the 110 volt electric pump option. Connect the hose assembly to the adapter on the press and pump and tighten. Install the breather cap and plug the machine into a grounded, single phase outlet as outlined in the operator's manual. Once the pump is connected and operational, cycle the machine at least five times to purge any air from the hydraulic system. To determine the crimp settings and tooling needed, access the Power Source Crimp Spec Tool from the Tools menu on Power Source. You can create a custom crimp chart in three simple steps. Another option is to visit danfoss.com crimp on your mobile device for quick and easy access to your crimp specs at any time. Danfoss's optimized tooling for positive stop machines features built-in fitting locators and collet cages that are color-coded to indicate dash size. The collet segment colors indicate the fitting series as shown in this chart. For this demonstration, we are crimping Weatherhead by Danfoss H2808 with our Z-Series fitting. This requires the ET313DC8Z collet. The Z-Series collet segments are black and the collet cage color for the Dash 8 size is blue. This requires use of the ET1000 AR001 adapter ring. You will also need a cupped 5-inch spacer ring placed flat side down. Today, we will be using the ET425SR015D spacer ring. Measure the appropriate insertion depth and scribe a T marking on the hose. Insert the hose into the fitting. The socket should cover up a portion of the depth marking or be fully bottomed out into the fitting. Next, slide the pusher to the back position. Apply Danfoss's high efficiency PTFE grease, which is supplied with the machine to the base, to the inside of the adapter ring, and to the outside of each of the collet segments, and position the collet halves in the adapter ring. Next, position the spacer ring flat side down on top of the collet. Insert the hose assembly up through the bottom of the machine between the collet halves. Locate the fitting on the locator tabs in the collet. 
Using the pusher handle, pull the pusher forward into the detent holding position. It's important that when crimping, make sure hands and all body parts maintain a safe distance from all moving parts. Begin crimping by actuating the pump. The crimp cycle is complete when the spacer ring is fully bottomed out on the base plate. Hold for three seconds, mentally count two to three and release the pump. Slide the pusher back and remove the crimped hose assembly. After completion, measure the socket at the center of the crimped region to verify the achieved crimp diameter. Use calipers with additional fingers to get between the fins if necessary. Measure all of the sides and use the average of the four readings to ensure the diameter falls within tolerance. After measuring the diameter, check for proper crimp location. And there you have it, a perfectly crimped hose assembly. It's that easy. To ensure optimal performance, please follow all outlined maintenance procedures in the operator's manual. Most importantly, relubrication of the crimp ring and periodic checking of the oil level in the hydraulic power unit. For more information on the Danfoss ET1000 and our other hard-working assembly machines, as well as tooling and technical support, visit danfosscrimpersupport.com.